It's a new Suez Canal built by promises. Promises to revolutionize the shipping industry while transforming Egypt. Hailed as Egypt's gift to the world. The opening's pageantry had as much to do with politics as the economy. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi appeared on stage flanked by world leaders. Military aircraft performed dizzying feats for spectators on stage and TV. Modesty, a mirage when introducing the new waterway. We Egyptians promise this new canal as a gift to humanity. And today we are fulfilling this promise in a record time. We are providing the world an additional artery for prosperity and a channel for connecting civilizations. The fate of Sisi's presidency is tied with the canal. He asked the Egyptian people to front the money. Crowdsourcing produced roughly $8 billion in eight days. He insisted it to be built in a year, and it was so. But some say that's the easy part. Egypt is a country starving for jobs and income. The government projects an ambitious, some say unrealistic, increase of revenue from roughly 5 to $13 billion in eight years from the canal. Uh, this is a speculation, and I, don't, I personally don't count on that. Will it take eight years? Will it take 15 years? This is beside, totally besides the point. What is much more important than that, much more important than the revenues of the canal per se, is the development of the region. Egypt plans to continue to develop the canal into a multi-billion dollar logistical hub. Another promise. While these massive ships will be able to deliver goods to the marketplace a few hours sooner, the real question is going to be, will they be able to deliver on Egypt's promises? Ian Lee, CNN on the Suez Canal.